To build your own views of a report for the secondary classroom, you can go under Reports to the Data Viewer option and then open up the Family Data section. You'll see one here called Child Information Tracking. We'll go ahead and select that. Click on the Create button. And when we come in, uh, all of our fields are automatically chosen. So we don't need all of these fields. I'm going to make this quick by saying I don't want any fields and then go back and pick the fields that I'd like included on this report. A couple of them I'm going to actually use just as filters to uh, select out, for example, children uh, who have an enrolled status of enrolled and I want the category description of just secondary classroom. So I'm going to use those two as primary filters before I set my actual final report format here. To winnow out all of the other categories, I'm going to click on the little filter button for category description and say I only want the secondary classrooms. And then for enrollment status, I only want status of enrolled. Once I've made those two selections, I can go back to the Choose Fields option and remove the check marks uh, for those two. Even though I'm removing the fields, the filter will stay in force. And then at this point, more than likely what I would do is drag the item description up to the header bar because it's going to group them by the description. So in this case, it would be the after school uh, group followed by the go group and then followed by the kids club, latch key, and lunch bunch. When you have a header like this and you go to print it, each one of these uh, headers will come out on a separate page. I could also add, uh, by putting my mouse down here at the bottom of the list of the names, I can right click. I'll get a little menu here where I could choose count. And that'll put in a count for each section. So here I've got five after schoolers, then I've got four go group children, uh, two that are in the kids club, one that's latch key, eight that are far, part of the lunch bunch. And you can save this report. You can call it uh, whatever you'd like. I'll just call this uh, secondary classrooms. And then I can save it. Once I've saved it here, anytime I come back to run this report, it will be listed right here under my child information. And I can just choose the report, change my date right here. And it would only include children who are enrolled that have a, a secondary classroom item. And that's how you can create a data viewer report for your secondary classrooms.